Welcome to the launch of Kruger Talks by Arthur Kruger. Yeah, okay. okay. And he said, um, Arthur, you are a Kruger, and there are quite a few clocks made by the Krogers in Manitoba and also uh, all over Canada, wherever Mennonites are. And these clocks need to be serviced, and you better get on with it. These time machines, these clocks, were taken along when people fled the Soviet Union, first of all in the 1920s, and then <laughs> also in the, uh, in the 50s. These clocks were valuable. They worked in every climate and um, in uh, the cold of North America, in the heat of South America, and um, before that, in Siberia and virtually every climate that you could think of. So there must be something that makes these things valuable. And it is also a lot of nostalgia. The interest was also not only in the clocks itself, but the way these clocks came to Canada the U.S. and South America. And every, every clock that I was given for restoration, I noted down the story behind it, how and why these people took along such a cumbersome thing as a wall clock. And <clears throat> the reason came to every one of them the clock is virtually a member of the family. Most of these clocks served for two or three generations before they even came to the new world here. There is a clock that was taken from the Ukraine all the way to Siberia, virtually to the end of the um, Asian continent. From there, in the, on the river Amur, which um, flows into the Pacific, the clock was taken to uh, China, from China to Europe, from Europe to South America, from South America to Canada. <laughs> 